Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how I have installed Foundry on my Synology NAS server. For you who do not know what a NAS is, it's a home server that can be used for both file storage and web applications. Synology is one of the most popular and it's very user friendly for a person like me who uh, is not a programmer and easily gets scared by command line and Unix and such. This is a decent alternative to installing Foundry on Amazon services that cost per gigabyte. And uh, it's more or less hassle-free when you get it up and running. I will walk you through my entire process here and uh, create a new Foundry virtual tabletop installation using Docker inside my Synology home server from scratch, including configuring the port forwarding in my router. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button below. Now, let's get started. So we're signing in to the Synology. And in here, you uh, have a couple of choices. You can install a virtual machine, which then you can install a Linux um, operating system like Ubuntu. And then on that, install Foundry. That's one possibility. But that will take quite a lot of memory and CPU to, to use that Foundry installation because you have to both run the virtual machine and then the Ubuntu and then the, uh, the Foundry itself. There is another way though. So inside um, Synology, there is an application called Docker. And Docker is a kind of, it's a container. You can see it as a, like a containing, yeah, they have uh, visualized it as a container ship here. But the thing is that you can run uh, Foundry without an uh, operating system. It works like everything is inside the container, even the operating uh, components that um, Foundry needs to run. So you just install it from here. I got it installed already. And then I open it. And as you can see here, oops, sorry. As you can see here, I have five containers running parallel inside Docker, and they take up almost no resources at all. It's like between four and 11% uh, percent of the CPU usage right now, and one gigabyte out of 16 in RAM. That's five applications. I'm running, as you might see up in the left uh, corner, uh, Feldy uh, Foundry VTT and uh, another Foundry VTT2. That's because me and my friend, we have each uh, one license each and uh, I run it from my server since he does not have one. So we're running parallel, uh, multiple parallel Foundry installations inside here and it takes up almost no resources. And then there are a couple of other things too. Um, Discord bot, for example, music bot for Discord, and uh, some other stuff. So this is the way I recommend to install it. To install it, you go to the image. Or um, first, you go to registry. Here you can search all the Docker containers that, that exist within the Docker hub. Here I search for Feldy. It's the name of the guy or girl uh, who makes this container and uh, develops it. And here we find, find uh, his uh, or her container, Foundry VTT. You just double click that and it will start to download into your Synology server, okay? When it's downloaded, you find it here. Here we have the latest. This is the old one, 0.8.7. This is the latest release. So every, every time they release a new one, 
it's downloaded here and you have to restart your server to, to install it. But anyway, uh, to install it, you just click here, double click, and you get this, uh, this window. What you need to do first is go into Docker and uh, then create a, um, the Docker volume and you create a folder there. It's called, I created one just called foundry underscore test. And uh, let's, let's uh, just delete it. Right. I made this test installation before, so you wouldn't see me dabble around here too much. Um, the container name, foundry, you can name it whatever you want. Underscore test underscore container. And then you press advanced. Here you can able, enable auto restart. And that's a good thing. If your server will, will update and it will restart, it restarts um, Foundry as well because you want it running all the time. And under volume, you add a volume. First, you add the uh, the um, folder that we just created, foundry test. And then you add slash data. That's where all the data from the Docker will, will be, will reside. And, uh, oh, sorry. I need to add, also add here on port settings. Here you have to decide, or I have done it this way at least, what local port um, to, um, to, to use to facilitate for people, your players, to get inside your uh, home network and inside the NAS the Synology server. So if you keep this on auto, it will randomize a port and that could change. And that's, if you want a consistent URL, you need to put a port there. So I'll put, for example, 32775. It's, uh, there are 65,000 ports approximately inside a, 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 um, a router and a firewall. And, uh, uh, some of them are used, but most of them are not. So you you, you can you can find a port inside your router that's not in use. So this this means that the traffic comes from internet and it's directed towards the thirty two thousand seven seven five port into the NAS and then the container port. That's the apps port. So when it comes to the NAS, it converts to the container port 30,000. So let, let leave that container port be because it's uh, there are some settings inside the um, the um, the container that will that will point traffic to that port. So only um, change the local port here, and then we press apply. No, we don't. We go further here. Environment here is also something that's important. Here you need to, um, to add the information that you got from Foundry when you bought your license. So I eat, add here, Foundry. Foundry username. I add another variable for foundry password. And I add another four. Foundry admin key.
then if you want to use uh, SSL, the HTTPS protocol, the encrypted protocol, you need to e add the, those keys to. Um, I will show you how to do it because some modules need the HTTPS uh, protocol. For example, if you're using webcams and you want people to use your webcams and, and audio, uh, there are modules for that inside uh, Foundry, but then you need to use HTTPS. like that okay these keys they um th they are downloaded I i'll show you where but they you can d you download them from the synology server because if you're already using the uh the keys in your synology server uh they are there so you can export them down to your local computer and then upload them to the docker folder That's it. So next, here we have the information now. Local port, container port. Yes, everything's right there. Docker foundry test. That's the folder where, where it will be installed. And there is all the information. Okay, click apply. So in the container list, we can see that it has already started because we, uh, we wanted to activate the start immediately um, functionality. So you see it, it's, it's running right now. It's taking up 1.25% of the CPU and 143 megabytes of the RAM. Still, it does not work because we need to go into the control panel and into security, certificate. And here we will download or export certificate. That's the certificate we, we have for the NAS because that must be the same kind of certificate as, as you have to get out on the internet. So they're synchronized. So what we do now is we shut it down again Boundary test container. And we go into file station. And we go into Docker. The foundry test. Here we see those uh, folders have been installed. We go to config. And here in config, we do upload those um, certificates. I've already downloaded them here. So the cert.pem and the privkey.pem we upload on, onto this uh, folder here. Like this. Okay. Then we have one more step we need to do. We need to open that port that we assigned inside the Foundry container. We need to open that port in our in our router in the firewall of our router. So I'll go over here to my router. See here. Network center. Port forward. And here are several rules, several ports that are port forwarded from internet into certain applications or certain locations inside my network. So to do this, 
we create, we call it foundry test port. You can name it whatever you want. You select the IP where you have your NAS. And you um, you write down the, that port that we used before. That we uh, that we uh, put inside the the, the foundry uh, container like this. Create. Apply. As you can see, that port 32,775, that's open now. Okay. And we go back to uh, Synology. Now we start this test container again. It's always peaking a little bit in the CPU in the beginning when it's uh, starting. But yeah, now it's running. So what we do now is go to the address, go here, and to 32775. This is your uh, internet address for your home server, and then you you write a colon and then that port that you just opened inside your router. So now it would work. Now you can reach this site or reach your foundry installation from everywhere where, where you have uh, access to a web browser and you can work with it from, from anywhere. Same thing with your uh, players. They can use it and uh, they can uh, reach it from everywhere and uh disclaimer here this uh, license agreement you uh you just agree and there you have it foundry is installed all right that was it for this video thank you for watching and if you liked it please uh hit the subscribe button and uh if you want to see anything else or more please uh write that down in the comments and i will see what i can do have a really nice day bye